because I'm going to show you why appendicitis in particular is not only common, but it's something we need to pay attention to. So come on over here because the appendix, I'm going to have you put these gloves on for Ooh. me, Ashley. All right. The appendix is very small, so it's about four inches. Mm -hmm. It's a little tube-like structure. It's at the junction of the small intestine and the large intestine. Okay. And again, not necessary. Right. You lose your appendix and there's no health consequences to it whatsoever. Oh, wow. What is that? Well, pick it up for me. Do I? Really? Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. Looks like a biohazard. Oh, well, God. It sort of is. Oh, jeez. So do you know what that is? Oh, this is like a real human organ, isn't it? It's the junction of the small and large intestine. Oh, my God. So do you, can you guess what the appendix is on there? Oh, it's... So an appendix, appendage, right? It's an appendage. This guy. Yeah. Oh, great. You all see that out there? This is how small and tiny the appendix is. Do you all see that? Do you see how thin it is? Mm -hmm. A little fecal matter will get <laughs> caught right here. And if that happens, we think a lot of times that's how you get appendicitis. Really? Because the fecal matter will basically... Set it off? Like... Well, it'll plug up the appendix and then beyond it, it starts to get inflamed. You develop that pain. And as it progresses, you'll develop more and more pain. Now the problem is, Ashley, if you ignore it, right. if you just say, you know what, despite all the things, I've got fever, nausea, vomiting, pain down here, it's really tender. I can't, I can't get out of bed. I can't move. I can't walk. It hurts. If you ignore it, you know what can happen? Oh, God. Bad things. Just rupturing inside. I want you to take that pen right there. Oh, Lord. We're going to pretend this is in a fl in an inflamed appendix. Okay. And the reason why you want to get your appendix out before too long is I'm about to show you. Do I just pop it? <gasps> oh, <laughs> that is terrible. You see all that? You see all that? Where does that go? That ends up in your abdominal cavity. That's stool. You know, that's oh. coming from that area where your small intestine and colon meet. All that fluid from inside there is seeping out of your appendix, all the inflammatory material. And so that is literally covering your organs. And so at that point, your appendicitis has become a ruptured appendix. That will lead to even further infection. Right. The other thing that can happen if you ignore appendicitis is you can develop a big abscess down there. And oh. when you develop an abscess, a localized abscess, <laughs> it's more of this gobbledygook <laughs> that becomes enclosed. So that's why it's so key to understand what appendicitis is, how to differentiate it from other things going on in your abdomen. Say it ruptures in my body and I'm not at the ER. I mean, can I die from that happening? Can, can you die? And this is, this is the last thing I'll say before we go to break. Before the advent of surgery, antibiotics, the death rate was 50%. Oh, wow. But now we have treatment. So if you get to the ER and yeah. get surgery, get washed out, the survival rate is, is really, really high. Yeah. If you get it out before it ruptures. Even better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much appendicitis has become not that big of a deal anymore. I hesitate to say that. But right. You know, with laparoscopic surgery, getting your appendix out is pretty easy. It's just a matter of figuring out that's what's going on so you can get to the ER to get your appendix out before it ruptures and becomes potentially a bigger problem. Yeah.